Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you with a different video today, not a tutorial. I just got my Sephora package in the mail and this doesn't have much in it, but it is the start of the holiday 2016 uh, releases and this is my very very favorite time of year to buy products you can get a really good bang for your buck um, they are about to start releasing all the goodies but the very first item to be released was the hourglass ambient lighting edit surreal light palette um, I did purchase it through Sephora I think right now it's only available for VIB and VIB Rouge um, so I picked it up I'm pretty sure it's going to be available for everyone uh, here shortly um, but because um, this just came out I know everyone's going to be wondering should I pick it up is it worth the $80 price tag hurts my heart to pay that much for just one item but Hourglass is a really good product and is a lot of times really worth the money so um, we're going to find out if this really is worth it I just got it in the mail today um, another item that I did get in my box, and this one I did open already so I can already tell you about it, um, is Sephora has released what they call a rewards bazaar for those people um, who have really been racking up the points. They have extreme point rewards like 15,000 points will get you a Tory Burch purse, uh, coin bag, wallet, and like three perfumes. Um, but I picked up a 750 point perk that I'm just going to tell you was really disappointing. <laughs> I got the Kat Von D coffin with the two um, ink tattoo liners and I really bought it because I thought the coffin was going to be like a collector's um, item or a, a really cool thing to display in my room. No. It's a cardboard box that is going to go in the trash. So I really, I used 750 points for two travel size ink tattoo liners. Uh, so I just thought I'd throw that out there. Be careful before you spend a large amount of points on these things because, yeah, apparently <laughs> a lot of them aren't all that. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's open this up. Um, the first thing, ooh, it's pretty. This is what the palette looks like. Very different from their gold, um, bronze type shiny. Uh, you know covers this is almost got like a it's not a matte feel um, but it's it's interesting it's not it's kind of a hybrid between the shiny kind of cover that is usually their you know what they make and like almost like the NARS packaging that black matte it's kind of in between that it's interesting it's marbled it's white um, the back tells you what each um, inside the palette which each uh, pan contains um, so let's go ahead and get this open I'm going to assume yeah this is very much like their last release I didn't pick up the last one but the last one that had five um, pans of product was apparently very disappointing to most people and so I was really glad I didn't pick that up but I'm just gonna say I also was a little disappointed when I opened this up and saw how little of each product there was. This is the blush palette, so they're a little bit bigger. I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't know if they're a lot bigger, but it's just, to look at it, it does look bigger. So this one gives you, with just three products, you have 0.116 ounces. So... This one is, with five products, is 0.14, so they shrunk them down so that they could fit more in. I get that. Um, let's go ahead and swatch these real quick so you can see what they look like. Um, you have a finishing powder in Surreal Light, a bronzer in Surreal Bronze Light, a blush in Surreal Glow, a blush in Surreal Effect, and a strobe powder in Surreal Strobe Light. All of these have not been previously released. These are all new to this palette. It's supposed to be limited edition. Um, sometimes they say that and then they bring them back the next year as permanent um, or they bring the palette back. So, but for now it is still limited edition. It comes with a really neat little card. This is the first time I've seen them do that. It tells you how to use the palette. It's a glossy little card. So I don't know if you can see it because it's catching the glare. 
goes step by step to tell you how to use each one. I know these create so much confusion because people are wondering like, where do I use this? Where do I put this? And so um, let's go ahead and get started with these swatches. So I'm going to start with the finishing powder. And then there's, so I'm already going to say that what's disappointing is that this palette is not going to really be well suited for the deeper skin tones and that's that's pretty disappointing um when they released the bronzers there were two shades there was a lighter and then a darker so you know people had the option um but to give you an idea here are the swatches um <laughs> they almost all look very very similar so right here on my index finger is the finishing powder um on my middle finger is the bronzer which you can already tell it's not very it's not very dark at all. And then on my fourth finger, on my ring finger, I've got the blush in Surreal Glow. So it's a very nude blush. They're pretty. As, as the Hourglass products always have pretty finish, um, but, and as most people know, the Hourglass products don't really have BAM in your face pigment. They're known to be finely milled, soft powders, um, you know, finishing powders, smoothing powders. I use them. So the palette, the original palette that was the ambient lighting palette, um, I this is the uh, only one I've ever bought. I've never hit pan. And look how much I still have left. So I obviously don't use it too, too often. Uh, but I do use these under my eyes, like to smooth out lines. Um, it's almost like a, it gives you kind of that photo finish. It's nice. It's just not going to be that glow that a lot of people want. Uh, and then we, there's a blush, there's a pink blush, and then there's a, I guess, highlight. So, I don't know if you can tell, right here is a, um, you've got that pink shade and that surreal effect. The strobe powder, surreal strobe light, is on my pinky. So that's what those look like. Um, am I happy that I paid $80 for the palette? Um... I'm not sure as of yet, just because to open it, my initial impression was I paid $80 for this. Um, but they are all items, or they all are products that are not, um, all the shades are not available uh, in the permanent line. They're not available individually. So the only way you can get them is in this palette. Uh, if you are a collector like me, then you'll want to get it, just because it's got all these newbies and you'll want to be able to try them out and use them, add them to your collection. So in that sense, yes, I'm glad I picked it up. I'm glad it's the start of holly, uh, holiday 2016. I am looking so forward to all the sets that are about to come out. But uh, I, I don't know that this is going to rock my world. <laughs> but um, let me go ahead and give you a couple of comparisons. <clears throat> so I've got the bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. Comes in that packaging right there. Um, and... It's significantly darker than what's in this new palette. This is the lighter of the two shades. So, see already that this is a bronzer. To me, what they included in this palette is not a bronzer. I can use this as like almost a finishing powder. So let me give you the, <laughs> the two differences right there. So they're considering this to be a bronzer. This is the one of the two bronzers that they had previously released in their, in their individual compacts. So definitely a big difference there. The blush, let me compare it to, uh, I've got the blush palette right here, the ambient lighting blush palette, which I love. I don't gravitate towards it as often, but I do love it. Um, so here, okay, here are all the colors for this palette right there. So let me add this fourth one. And I guess it is pinker than, more pink, <laughs> than the, um, the ones in this other palette. So you've got the first three fingers are from the Ambient Lighting Blush palette. My pinky has the blush that's included in this new holiday palette. So it's, um, it is definitely more pink, which is nice. It's, uh, you know, different from what I already have. Um, but then the finishing powder, and that one you're really, um, that one's more like you're going to smooth out your, your under eyes. You're going to, I do like it. It does 
smooth the finishing their finishing powder smooth out you know it's almost like they smooth out my pores they smooth give me like that photo finish um, look that I need but to give you an idea now the original palette um, had dim light incandescent light and radiant light um, so I'm really only going to compare dim light and the new finishing powder in finishing um, I'm sorry surreal light <laughs> So that's what they look like. This is from the original ambient lighting palette and this is from the new um, lighting edit surreal light palette. So those are the two comparisons there. Overall, um, I do I do like it. I'm glad I picked it up. Do I love it? I wasn't super impressed upon first opening the palette. And I think, again, like everybody else, as with the last release, I was just caught off guard with how tiny they are. Um, but I guess considering the fact that I've never hit pan on the other two palettes that I have, I will likely not hit pan, at least for a very long time, especially if I don't gravitate towards it. But again, to give you another look, that's what that looks like. So it's it's... It's pretty nice that it's got the different packaging. They've they've varied it up a little, and I am a sucker for packaging. I will buy something if it looks cute, if it looks nice, uh, if it looks sleek. Uh, but here you've got your finishing powder, you've got your bronzer here, you've got a blush here, a blush uh, right here, and then this is your I guess what you would consider your highlight. It's the surreal strobe light. That's what that looks like. Let me close it back up and show it to you. Okay, there. That's what the back looks like. And what's nice is the back tells you <laughs> what each thing is. I mean, I am such a, I will open something and I'll be like, hey, what was this one called? And what was this one called? So I like it when companies do that, when they put the detail on the back of the product. Um, also, they again I already showed this but they do give you a little card that tells you how to use all of the products which again is nice because for the longest time after I bought this palette I was like okay well I guess I'll just use this under my you know under my eyes and I guess I'll just throw this on here and not really knowing if I was using it the correct way uh, so I think they they got smart in putting this in I really do I really do like that and I will put this to good use so yeah, that was um, my first impression of this palette. I hope it helps you out. I hope it helps you decide whether or not this is right for you um, as far as price range, as far as shades, as far as comparing to what has already been released by Hourglass. But if you're as excited as I am about the holiday sets, then you'll probably want to get your hands on this one. So thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this first impression of the Hourglass Surreal Light Lighting Edit Palette. Before I let you go, as usual, I want to give you the verse of the day. And I'm going to uh, read from John 16, 33, which says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you, have tr you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. I hope this gives you encouragement. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!